All right, guys, Gemini, back with another video. Enjoying my natural ice. <laughs> um, just having a good time and drinking a beer. And uh, we just got done watching the uh, Royal Rumble, or as some people like to call it, the Royal Bumble. Um, uh, DVD, the true story of the Royal Rumble. I have to say that it was a very, very good doc. Um, a little bit short. Um, I was entertained. I was locked in. Um, I learned all about the Royal Rumble. You know, I mean, not that we haven't seen, you know, all the Royal Rumbles and stuff through the years, you know, which we have. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, it was all right. I, I truthfully, it looked like something you could have watched for free on the WWE Network and not spent the $20 on the WWE DVD. It did. It looked like, um, you could have just watched that on the network and you wouldn't be missing much. I don't know. It was great and all, but if you skipped it, you're totally okay. You're totally okay. There, there was nothing like that you were going to see on here that you probably didn't know about the Royal Rumble already. It was almost kind of like, it was good, but it was almost kind of like a little bit of a pointless DVD. You know, if you thumb through the WWE Network, um, if you thumb through it, you, you see all kinds of specials like similar to this. This looked like something that, that, even though it was good, that they put on the WWE Network. It just wasn't like so groundbreaking where you needed to buy the DVD to learn about it. I mean, the one thing, the one takeaway from this is they, they did teach me something that I, I, I didn't know. They showed me, and, and just to this day, even though it's been like, what, 16, 17 years, I didn't know until I watched this doc about The Rock in 2000 with his uh, feet hitting first. And the Big Show actually won that match because you could see The Rock's feet on the ground. And the Big Show totally won that match in 2000 in uh, Madison Square Garden. And I, I, I didn't know that part until now. But uh, just to, you know, you guys respect me as a DVD re uh, reviewer and stuff. Um, I'm just saying that you could skip this one and totally be okay, even though it was entertaining as hell. It was fun, but it wasn't like this groundbreaking, like Randy Savage um, DVD or anything. It wasn't like that great. It looked like a WWE Network uh, special to me. Something that you could have seen before the Royal Rumble on the WWE Network. Um, it's kind of what it looked like to me, but it wasn't bad. It just wasn't worth 20 bucks to sit through an hour and nine minutes. Uh, no, not really. Just a quick observation. I'm Gemini. Thank you for listening.